Can you vlog with iPhone 12 mini? And is that battery enough? These are questions we're gonna try to answer in this video. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. Yes, in this video, we're finally doing the iPhone 12 mini vlog test. But it's not just a vlog test, we're checking out how well the battery fares on this tiny little phone. To recap, this thing has two 12 megapixel cameras, a 12 megapixel wide shooter, and a 12 megapixel main shooter, and another 12 megapixel selfie shooter. In the battery department, because it is a tiny phone, it packs 2,227 milliamp hours of battery. Is that enough? Are these cameras good enough to vlog with? Just how well does this phone do videos? Just how well does this phone do photos? We are here to find out. Right, so I started the day at 10.45 a.m. and I was at 100% battery. Do not judge, that is when my day started, okay? Anyway, the first order of business on this particular Sunday was some work from home. Literal work from home project. We are DIYing today. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm basically trying to do is discard the edges of this old table so that it becomes a tiny stand. And this is wide on the rear camera. There's no wide on selfie. We did it. Perfect, whole afternoon's work. <laughs> so this is what we've been working on. The new lanai. And this is the table we just made. Let me do a wide. There you go. Work of art. Hope you like my little DIY project. We're pretty proud of that whole lanai area. As early as now, yes, in the video department, this phone has definitely impressed. Even my Instagram story shot with a wide really looked good with that stabilization. So much so that I got a number of questions on my Instagram about it. Looking good on this phone might come with a price though if you don't remember to turn it off. Yes, I'm talking about HDR capabilities. The new iPhone can shoot in HDR, which means that they are at par with cinema quality, except this new HDR thing, it's not really compatible with a lot of other devices, including my laptop. So I had a little trouble trying to edit it. If you shoot in HDR, it might come out as really overexposed images on your laptop or other devices you watch it on. Now to fix this whole issue, there were a couple of solutions presented to me. Rene Ritchie, thank you, suggested that I airdrop the footage to an older iPhone or an older iPad and that sort of automatically fixes it from HDR to SD, which is a quick fix. Or I was able to find the Final Cut settings to fix that whole thing. Basically, Basically, I used HDR mask and yeah, that fixed it, although not after a long afternoon of trial and error of airdropping and finding the right settings and researching. I can honestly tell you it was a headache. You know, Apple stuff, they generally work until they don't like this and then it's just... Uh, Anyway, my point is if you don't want to deal with a possible headache, if you're like me and you're shooting a vlog or if you plan to send files across different devices, do yourself a favor and turn off HDR. You don't want to be me. Anyway, on to the selfies, but before that, battery check at 3.30 p.m. I was on like 58%. Right, selfies. Right, um... <laughs> Now that all the physical work is done, it's time for some selfie samples on the iPhone 12 mini. Right now I'm shooting in HD 60fps but the front facing camera can do 4K 24fps now. This is that, that is what you're seeing right now but it can also do 4K 30fps. This is a sample right now and... 4K 60 FPS. This is that. Although I will say that there are no like other features like live beauty mode or the blur background while you're shooting video, 
we haven't seen that on iPhones yet. Um, sort of miss them, but I don't expect to see them anytime soon. I'm going back to HD now before like I shoot all 4K videos and my laptop dies on me when I edit. Um, yeah, FYI, if you're into shooting like full videos and very cinematic and the greatest quality possible it's amazing that this front-facing camera can do 4k but as for me all my videos all my vlogs are still shot in 1080 so we're going back to that um what this front-facing camera has though is slow motion so let me show you Right, you guys selfie time um that buzzing that's the ac in the background i don't want to turn it off it's too hot but yeah selfie test time i am in front of a window for a lot of natural lighting um one thing about the iphone oh my gosh the dogs won't shut up but yeah one thing about the iphone selfie cameras is that there are no beauty modes uh like i said i am a fan of the beauty mode but i always stress to use it to enhance the real you and not to like blur your whole face right selfie time so the thing with the selfies i don't think there is um a gesture selfie mode so i think we have to resort to the timer as you can tell i'm not the biggest fan of iphone selfies but yeah it's we're gonna try it. So you can also do a wider shot. Now, unfortunately, because there's no gesture selfie, if I want like a further away shot, I'd have to like run. So let's do one like that. This is the live photo mode. So that, is a photo we just took but a live photo means when you tap and hold there's movement so what i love about live photos is if i happen to post let's say on instagram right if i post this photo on instagram i tap and hold it becomes like a really quick boom and yeah really quickly this is what the stories look like on the iPhone 12 mini well shot on the iPhone 12 mini as you can see it's really nice it's up to scale that's because Instagram on iPhones it's always the best mix Instagram has always been optimized for iPhones or is it the other way around right as for selfies let's see if there are edit modes on here so you have an auto edit mode oh that actually looks good what does that mean Ooh, I can draw on it. I okay. This is very useful. Honestly, sometimes I want to scribble on certain photos and then send to people. So yeah, that's what markup means, you guys. There is also a portrait mode on selfie. So as you can see, the background is pretty blurred. You can adjust the bokeh settings here. Can I edit after the fact? Ooh, yes, you can. So if you decide that that's too much blur, you can just go into settings and change that. We also have the different studio lighting settings. So this is natural studio light. Contour, does that change anything? Let's look at this from this angle. No, we do not have white on portrait, which is a shame. I like doing the blur with a bigger background. Right. Hello. So I have been recording on... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I got distracted by how nice this shot is. But yes, I have been recording the videos, the ones where I was trying to be a handyman. That was in HD. 30 fps and this is 60 fps and welcome to my little garden nook inside my room this is 1x 5x yes you can see all my plant babies and let's see how zoomed in i can do this Ooh, 3x on hd 60 fps i can also shoot a photo while i'm recording 
there you go and the back camera can record the same way this is 4k 24 fps we have a wide 1x 3x 30 fps now wide 1x 3x yes guys this is a cute case i know i have a full video of all the sonics cases because if you have an iphone you should totally look i love them 60 fps 4k this time Ooh, there is no wide available on this mode although it does a three times zoom and yes i will say you guys having a smaller phone like this size for me is perfect i don't know my mom doesn't like how small it is i love how small and handy this is so yeah to each his own i probably should go downstairs and take photos outside of this room so let's go right we're going out to the dogs bruce is going crazy as usual this is hd 30 fps yeah 4k 30 i know this is gonna be such a pain to edit but for you guys let's do it ah still 4k you guys so like on the iphone there are no like stabilization modes but it's built in so this is me walking and talking this is 4k trying on hd 30 as well so you guys can see that's sort of against the light back to 4k where are all the dogs guard dog there are people doing construction and bruce has been going crazy yeah that's how he's been guys check out Guys, check out our guard dogs. Wow! Good news. Um, portrait camera works on dogs. Yeah, so 5.07 p.m. That's the first low battery warning. Uh... This is my screen on time. It's five hours. I mean, I have been using this phone a lot for vlogging. But still, like, that means I can't take this phone out to vlog. It won't last me the whole day. That's what that means. Right. I should probably charge before I do, like, the dark room test. I didn't. I lasted at around 6.20 p.m. and it was at 11% at that point. That's when I finally charged so I can do the night mode shots. Time for night mode test. Yes, I've set my stuff up aka this is gonna be our light source. This is our scene. We can do wide 1x. Well, Ooh, 3x that looks good but like there's what do you call those those like glary things that tends to happen a lot on iphones i've noticed right so the thing with iphone night mode is that it just pops up like you have no control over it so if i tap this this gives you an automatic shutter so there we go this is turning it off, this is no night mode, and this is a maximum shutter of one second. So let's see that if I point to a darker scene, for example, it gives you a longer sort of um, time. Or let's go to my mirror. Right, it is dark. This is with no night mode. This is turning on the night mode and it automatically gives me three seconds. 
Let's see how that works on selfies. Hmm. Video is not looking so good though. <laughs> this is near the light. Now the thing is with the Apple night mode, it can definitely perform, except it doesn't necessarily give you that much choices. Like as you saw sometimes, if it deems that you don't need more light, it doesn't allow for a longer exposure. And also this camera does not have a pro mode, so. Right, and that was our vlog test for the iPhone 12 mini. I know that in the iPhone 12 lineup, this tiny little thing does not have the best cameras supposedly that's reserved for the pro phones but i think that these cameras can definitely compete it has more than enough bells and whistles for you to enjoy shooting with it i love the ois on this thing if you're someone who walks and talks i love how stabilized video is on this specifically the wide angle camera it really really looks good my main gripe with this thing if you want to go out and vlog with it would not be the cameras but the batteries i mean yes i get it it is a smaller phone which means it's a smaller battery it's just that i know i've had like phones perform way longer than this bottom line if you're the type to like travel and shoot a whole day vlog running around with this phone that's not gonna happen unless you do it in true iPhone fashion, which is with a power bank with you at all times. Nevertheless, these cameras can perform. I would especially recommend this phone if you're into shooting for social media. I've said this before and I'll say it again, iPhones are always the most optimized for like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, most social media shooting with iPhones just work. The fact that it's tiny, which I love, makes it so handy and it shoots well are total wins if you don't mind that shorter battery time this might just be the phone for you and that's it for today's video let me know what you guys think about this comment down below if you already have an iphone be sure to check out my iphone case hauls i'm pretty sure you like that if you like cute things if you want to see how i use my tech on a daily basis find me online that's at isa does underscore on instagram twitter and tiktok until next time